Hello friends, in this part we will see how to submit form data for create new teacher account, by using Ajax with PHP. For this here we have write, dollar with form ID teacher form with on method, and under this we have write submit event, so when form has been submitted then this block of code will execute. Under this block, first we have write event dot prevent default method, it will stop to submit form data to server. Now we have start write ajax request, and under this we have write first option url set to teacher action dot php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, in this we can define by using which method, we have to send data to server, so here we have write post method. In third option, we have write data and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write new form data object, it will send data to server in the set of key and value pair. In fourth option, we have write data type and here we have write JSON, that means it will receive data from server in JSON format. In fifth option we have write, content type option which has been set to false. In sixth option, we have write, process data option set to false, it has used for non-process data file, so it is set to false. In seventh option, we have write before send callback function, this function has been called before send of Ajax request. Under this function we have write, dollar with submit button id button action, with value method, and under this we have write validate, it will change button text. After this we want to disable submit button, so here we have write dollar with button id button action, with attribute method, and under this we have write disabled, it will disabled submit button. Lastly, we have write success callback function, under this function first, we want to enable submit button, so here we have write dollar with button id button action with attribute method, and under this we have write disabled option set to false. After this, we want to again change submit button text change to original text, so here we have write dollar with button id button action, with value method, and under this we have write dollar with hidden tag id action with value method. Now we have write, if statement and under condition we have write data dot success, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id message operation, with html method and under this we have write data dot success, it will display success message on web page. Below this we have called clear field function, it will clear all form field data. For hide modal, here we have write dollar with modal id form modal with modal method, and under this we have write hide, it will hide modal from web page. After hide modal, we want to refresh data table data, for this here we have write data table variable dot ajax dot reload method, it will refresh data table data on web page. Now we have again write, if statement and under condition we have write, data dot error, if this condition true, 
that means any validation error has occur and it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write data dot error teacher name variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher name with text method, and under this we have write data dot error teacher name variable. It will display validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher name with text method, with blank value, it will clear previous validation error from this tag. After this, we have write data dot error teacher address variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher address with text method, and under this we have write data dot error teacher address variable it will display validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher address with text method, with blank value, it will clear previous validation error from this tag. Same way for check email ID validation error, here, we have write data dot error teacher email ID variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag ID error teacher email ID with text method, and under this we have write data dot error teacher email id variable, it will display validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher email id with text method, with blank value, it will clear previous validation error from this tag. Now for check password validation error, here, we have write data dot error teacher password variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher password with text method, and under this we have write data dot error teacher password variable, it will display validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher password with text method, with blank value, it will clear previous validation error from this tag. Same way for check qualification validation error, here, we have write data dot error teacher qualification variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher qualification with text method, and under this we have write data dot error teacher qualification variable, it will display validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher qualification with text method, with blank value, 
it will clear previous validation error from this tag. After this, for check date of joining validation error, here, we have write data dot error teacher date of joining variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher date of joining with text method, and under this we have write data dot error teacher date of joining variable, it will display validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher date of joining with text method, with blank value, it will clear previous validation error from this tag. Lastly, for check profile image validation error, here, we have write data dot error teacher image variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher image with text method, and under this we have write data dot error teacher image variable, it will display validation error. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id error teacher image with text method, with blank value, it will clear previous validation error from this tag. Now we have go to teacher action dot php file, and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to add or edit, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have create variable like, dollar teacher name, teacher address, teacher email id, teacher password, teacher grade id, teacher qualification, teacher date of join and teacher image with blank value for store form data. Same for store validation error, we have create variable like dollar error teacher name, error teacher address, error teacher email id, error teacher password, error teacher grade id, error teacher qualification, error teacher date of join, and error teacher image with blank value, for check validation status here we have create dollar error variable is equal to zero. Now we have write dollar teacher image variable is equal to dollar post hidden teacher image variable, so this field value has been stored under this local variable. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar files teacher image with name variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. This condition will be true, if admin select profile image, so under this tag, we have write dollar file name variable is equal to, dollar files teacher image with name variable. After this, we have write dollar temporary name variable is equal to, dollar files teacher image with temporary name variable so image temporary location details store under this variable now we have write dollar extension array variable is equal to explode function under this function in string delimiter we have write dot 
and in string we have write dollar file name variable. It will convert name in array. For get selected field extension, here we have write dollar extension variable is equal to dollar extension array variable with one index, it will get selected file extension. After this, we have write dollar allowed extension variable is equal to array with file extension like jpg and png, so on this two image extension file are allowed for upload. For check file extension validation, here we have write if statement with not operator, with an array function, with two argument like dollar extension variable, and dollar allowed extension variable. If select file extension not found under allowed extension array, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error teacher image variable is equal to invalid image format and dollar error variable value increment by one. But suppose selected file of allowed extension, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block we have write dollar teacher image variable is equal to unique id function with dollar extension variable here we have create new file name below this we have write dollar upload path variable is equal to teacher image folder name slash dollar teacher image variable here we have define image upload path for upload image, here we have write move uploaded file function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar temporary name, and in second argument we have write dollar upload path variable. It will upload its selected file into define path. But suppose admin has not select image, then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have again write if statement and under condition we have write dollar teacher image variable value is equal to blank if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar error teacher image variable is equal to image is required and dollar error variable value increment by one so, friends, in this part we have covered jQuery code with Ajax request, and upload file with validation, in next part we will see how to validate other form data. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.